Good morning students. How are you all? Yes, I wish all of you must be fit and fine and doing well at your home. So students, it's winter now. So very happy winter to all of you. Today we were going to learn about MS Word and its parts. So first we will start with title bar. Okay. So title bar displays the name of the document and the application name. That is normally Word written on it. It also contains minimize, maximize or restore down button and also the close button. Now we are going to learn about the quick access toolbar. This bar is present on the left side of the title bar which gives us access to the frequently used commands of different tabs like save, undo, redo, etc. So quick access toolbar provides us these operations so to do that easily. Okay. Now we are going to discuss about ribbon. The ribbon is located just below the title bar which contains commands for working in the document. These commands are present under various tabs like file tab, home tab, insert etc. And further categorized under various groups. So you will get all the options that present in ribbon. Now we are going to learn about the file tab. It is on the left side of the ribbon. It displays view called backstage view which has commands like print, save, open etc. So the backstage view you will get after clicking on the file tab. Then comes to document area. This is the area which is used to type text, insert pictures, create tables etc. Using a cursor present in this area. So in the document area we are going to work according our requirement. Then comes to cursor. Cursor is a blinking vertical line which shows the current typing position in the document. So when you see the blinking line in your document that means it is the cursor. Then comes to status bar. It appears at the bottom of the word window which provides information like page number, number of pages, lines, words etc. So in the status bar you will get the information about your document. I hope all of you understood what we discussed. If you have any doubt then you can contact me. Thank you all of you. Have a great day.